I have found two very important and practical takeaways from this book by Charles and Robert. First takeaway is to solve a problem, you first have to frame it correctly. Do that and the solution becomes clear. See, in real world, when you are conf- confronted with a problem, it's easy to immediately start thinking about how you are going to solve it. You rush off to gather data, consult experts and analyze what you have found. And soon you are coming up with answers. But there is just one issue. You have missed a vital step. The problem solving works only if you are answering the right questions. If you are not doing that, your work will be worthless. I will give a real life example. Some time back, one of my very senior team member called me. He was a bit tense and said, Rajiv, a few people from our department, they are looking for other roles outside of our function. We need to do something to stop them. We need to do something to show them that our department is better for them and so on. So he started thinking about the solutions based on this incomplete understanding of the real problem. So I use the very famous 5Y approach. I asked him, why a team member's movement is a problem for us? He said, Rajiv, these team members have the process knowledge and understanding. If they move and we hire someone new, the new person will take five, take five to six months to learn on the job. I asked a follow up question. Why a new person will take five to six months? He said, because we don't have detailed process documents and flowcharts. I again asked him, why do why we don't have detailed process documents and flowcharts? He said, because we never felt them necessary. I asked a final question. Do you think if we get process documents and flowcharts prepared and get video trainings developed for new joiners in our department, then this problem will get solved? Answer came, yes. So did you notice the difference in the solution for the same problem? This difference came because we changed our focus from the surface level problem to the real, to the long term problem. And this is why it is important to start the problem solving process by taking a moment to think carefully about what questions you are trying to answer. And the key here is to keep asking yourself the right questions. So this was the first takeaway, which is to solve a problem. First, you have to frame it correctly. Second lesson from this book is optimize problem solving using obligation to dissent. See, author says that this idea is deeply embedded in the culture of some of the best consulting firms in the world. And they have a policy which is called obligation to dissent. This policy means that the junior team members, they are not only encouraged to voice disagreements with the senior staff, they are actually obliged to air their differences. And seniors, they commit themselves to listening to others' views. Now, why is this so important? Well, it is believed that poor problem solving is usually the fruit of one of the particular form of bias, which is rating ideas not on their merit, but on the status of the person proposing them. But when everyone has a voice, there's much higher chance that the team will act on the best idea. This approach prevents senior team members from dominating the discussions. So this is the second key lesson in the book, which is optimize problem solving using obligation to dissent. So my friends, these were some of the key takeaways from this very practical book. I hope you enjoyed this book summary. Do share your thoughts in comment section below. Thank you and have a fantastic life.